So this fly, to start off, is basically a variation on a big red. And all I've done is I've got a, a bit of 3mm booby cord and I've just took a lighter, take a lighter to this end and it just rounds it off like so. And then we've got to thread this ever so carefully onto a tube needle. Every twist it when you turn it on, you'll get it a lot better. And it's simply just to create the detached look body. So in with some thread, pull this off a little bit. And all we've got to do is we've got to come in. So it's three wraps there. And then just whip finish. That's one. You can take the thread up, but it's just neater this way. There's two. Make sure it's locked on, Steve. I'll work finish this time. Come in, move that out of the way, and then just work finish. Make sure you get it right in the centre. Probably about four of these. Move that out of the way. Finish. And then finally, last one. Oh, that's better. So that's everything. That's your detached body done. From there we move on to the next part, creating the body. You just pull this, it will come off nice and gentle. So you've got your detached body there. That's him. On to stage two. The bits and pieces out of the way here is to get a Size 10, standard dry, SLD2, nice and strong in the vise, and some red tie and thread. What we've got to do is we've got to come in halfway, and we've got to attach the body, probably there. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, you have to watch the thing spinning. If I pull my thread, it'll start to spin towards the camera. However, to stop it spinning, you basically come around as if you're trying to clink hammer. If you do that three or four times, the thing doesn't spin, it stays in place. So now what I want to do is get a little bit more wraps of the foam, and make sure it's bedded in nice and tight, like that. Here we go. I might actually come back a little bit more on that body. Like so. So there's your detached bit. I've now got... God, this stuff, I've pulled half it out, unfortunately. Like an idiot. White Antron. We've got to come in, create a post, probably about here, right in the middle, right there. Come in under the thread, up and under, and place it on the top. Right there. Probably a little bit further forward actually. Right there. There you go. Okay, 
So we've got our post there. So let's create the post. We've got the, the form in. We need to wind up and start creating this post. People will use gallows, tools, etc. I didn't bother. I've got this sort of down to a T now. So I've got thread tension in the right places. Oops. I'm probably a bit a little too close to the eye there. Let's see how I get on. Yeah, that's all right. So before I do any winding, I've got a, a genetic grizzle. I prefer grizzle to um, natural cock cape. Watch sure I get the spread right. Now all I'm going to do is pull some fibres away from the stem and then lock them in on the front of the eye and then come up and then just get the stem so it's up next to the antron like so. Come in with your scissors. Take away that stem. Tidy up with a couple of thread wraps. And make sure that post is upright. I've then got some red seals for, really bright. And you got to dub that up. And then pull our thread through. So, get a really, really tight dubbing rope. I see a lot of big reds that are quite dark. However, this, this, this bright blood red really, really works for me. And it is bright. Keep it nice and tight. Nice and tight, wind it up. Tell it there, and then get your thread parked. You gotta move this, I'm gonna tighten my vise up a little touch. There you go, like so. So I've got enough space, when I come round this hackle, I wanna get it rounded in at the front, I wanna tie it off here, so come in. I'm probably got to do four wraps, two, three, four, bugger it, five, and then lock it off. That's that nice and tight, locked off, see? There were your scissors. Now, because you've got red thread on there, we can come up, pull the hackle back, and we can come through the thread right to the hook eye. Now I like a little angle on here, so when I pull all this forward, I pull my hackle back as well, like so. So it looks like that. You pull your hackle back, out of the way, and then with my thumb to guide the thread, I just catch that in. So you've got all the fibres, like so. That's how it should look on the top. Now, what you can do with a big red, what I do a lot, is I put a tiny little kick of thread in front of the, the antron. And it just kicks it up a little bit, and it's great when you're putting gink on. Then with your whip finishing tool, and just whip finish behind the eye, and that's kicked that antron up a bit. And this is the key with your big reds, is you want a little tuft at the front as well. So if I just come in, I want it to be the same, that same length as my thorax, thorax there. You can see that. So I just want to cut it. There. And there he is. That's your detached body. Big red, works an absolute storm on the reservoirs. Um, you can actually fish a buzzer underneath it, it's that buoyant. But there you go folks, really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please be kind enough to subscribe to the channel. Plenty more fly fishing, fly time videos in there. Take care, and bye bye.